now we're going to spend some time talking about sleep positions. The way we sleep determines the way we recover and the way we perform the next day, the way we build upon ourselves. Most people don't get a good night of sleep because they get uncomfortable and they switch positions a lot and they toss and turn. Some people are actually painful at nighttime and wake up with more pain where really we should wake up more refreshed and feeling our best in the morning. The reason why this happens is because when we're laying down, there's a few key concepts. The one being that uh, our body isn't flat, right? So to lay on a flat surface doesn't really fit. And yes, mattresses do give a little bit and you're supposed to sink into them to support you more, but it's not likely that your mattress was designed for your body. And it's also not likely that you and whoever's sleeping in the bed next to you have the same body types and we would both be comfortable in the same mattress. Unless your mattress is specifically designed for you, you're probably not gonna get all the support that you need to get. So we can use a couple things of pillows and towels at home to customize and make that mattress fit for you, which also works when you're um, away from home. If you're at a hotel, if you're at a family member's house and you're sleeping somewhere else, you can still use these same concepts to make that surface fit you. So when we lay down, uh, the small of our waist is narrower and softer than our bony hips or our bony rib cage. So if we're laying on our side, that area has a little bit of an arch there. And now gravity pulls on that arch all night long. And as that arch gets pulled down on, it wants to collapse. But your body won't let that happen, so the muscles stay slightly active to keep that arch supported. So half the muscles are resting and half the muscles are working. When the workers get tired, you switch sides, and then those workers now rest, and then the resting muscles now become activated again. So this is why we toss and turn throughout the night, is because we're uncomfortable. But if we can take that arch and we can fill something in underneath there, then those muscles can relax and turn off without risk of that arch collapsing. So that's what we wanna start working on with these pillow and towel positionings. So when we lay down on our side, right, we're narrower at our waist. So I wanna take a folded towel, and I just have a hand towel, and I fold it into it, it's about a, maybe three to five inches wide, and it's only maybe anywhere from a half an inch to two inch thickness. We have to play around for your body, which is gonna be unique and depending on your mattress. But I'm gonna take that folded towel, and I'm gonna put it underneath the small of my waist. So above the bony part of my hip and below the bony part of my rib cage, right? So when I put that in there, that kind of gives me a little support on that arch. Everybody knows to put a pillow under your head and we wanna make sure that that pillow is the right size. If the pillow is too thick and my head's up, that's gonna be uncomfortable. If it's too thin and my head's down, that's not gonna be very comfortable either. So it needs to be just the right height so that our head is level and we're gonna pull that right into the small of our shoulder. The other thing is we're wider at our hips than we are at the rest of our legs. So right now my top leg is slightly angled down because of the weight of it. So if I take a pillow, and a lot of people will know to do this, and put a pillow between the knees, right? That's good, but still the proximal part of my thigh is still hanging in space. So really what I wanna do is take that pillow and pull it all the way up to my crotch, and that's gonna give me more support there. Now, depending on your body type, you might need a thinner pillow or a thicker pillow. Uh, some people might use two pillows in this position, but if I'm in this position and I relax, I'm probably not gonna to toss and turn as much overnight because my muscles aren't gonna get as tired. I'm gonna wake up more refreshed than I did previously. So that's how we do the side lying position. Obviously the other side would be the same. If I'm a back sleeper, what I wanna do is I'm still gonna leave that same folded towel in the same spot because it's gonna line up with the small of my back now. Right, so if I'm changing from my side to my back overnight, I don't really have to move that. But I do have to make sure that I have, again, the pillow to my shoulders, supporting the soft spot of my neck. And some people will know to put a pillow underneath your knees. But again, this part of my proximal part of my thigh is still kind of hanging in space. So really what we want to do is bring that pillow right up to our butt bones. Not under our butt, but to our butt. Now I have support underneath my entire thigh to my knee. And some people might even find that they use a second pillow to kind of go underneath uh, their calf part of their leg. Right? But now that I have full contact support in this position, I'm a lot more comfortable and I'm going to sleep and probably stay in one position throughout most of the night. Uh, now, if you're a belly sleeper, this gets a little bit tricky because belly sleeping requires quite a bit of uh, neck rotation. So, we're gonna get rid of the towel. We don't really generally use that on our belly. Um, but, uh, because of the, the muscle mass of my thighs compared to the muscles in the front of my shin, I need a pillow to support in front of my shins. So, from my knees to my ankles. And I can be with my arms up if that's what's comfortable. Right, and my head can be turned to the side. Some people will use a pillow and kind of be turned to the side. Some people will kind of be in a half belly, half side position. So that's gonna look like where they kind of have that leg out in front of them. 
right there. Now this, you could possibly use that folded towel underneath your waist, that might be beneficial for you, so try that and see how that is. But this leg now is hanging in space, so I wanna take generally a thicker pillow, maybe two pillows for a lot of people, um, and I wanna put that not just, again, under the knee, but all the way up into their groin area, all right? So that's gonna be my position for sleeping on the side, uh, keeping me in a restful spot so I get better restoration and I wake up feeling good, pain levels down, brain is rested, muscles are rested, I'm ready to be more active the next day.